Each patient has to be managed uniquely and given the best individual care available. Nothing like dealing with the patients in a group, okay? Each patient has unique needs, even if they have the same diagnosis. Interpersonal, okay? It's not a one-man show, so you have to relate with the others, okay? So it provides the basis for therapeutic process in which the nurse and the patient respect each other as individual so that the boundaries can be set and all of them can focus on the common goal, which is making the patient better. Collaborative. We're saying that in this case, this one provides the framework in which nurses are able to collaborate with these other healthcare providers, be it physicians, clinicians, nutritionists, lab techs, uh, medical social work, paramedics, mention them. Dynamic and cyclic. The process of nursing process continues to go when, when you're providing care. You'll be forced to be going up, uh, forward. Sometimes you go back just to ensure that you're correcting all the steps that are able to facilitate the achievement of the, the goal. And lastly, the nursing process requires critical thinking so, the use of the nursing process requires critical thinking, which is a vital skill and ingredient required for nurses in identifying the client needs, implementing those interventions to promote effective care outcomes. So, this is how the nursing process uh, appears. Right from here, on my right, you can see assessment. You begin with the assessment, you go to diagnosis, you, then you go to planning. From planning, you go to impl implementation. Then lastly, evaluation. This process is summarized as ADPI, and I stands for assessment, diagnosis, planning, implementation, and evaluation, guys. So the first step is which one? Assess, 